All righty, ladies and gentlemen, this is Blake Morrow, and you are listening to the Daily Roundup. I hope everybody's having a great trading session. Man, we are seeing some volatility today, which is good. Um, unlike you know some of the days that we have where j- things just aren't moving today, we are seeing some movement. Uh, keep in mind that um, we are seeing a bit of a recovery in equities. And I'm going to go ahead and just throw this out there. We've seen this for the last couple of days. And then what happens at the end of the day, we start to see a little bit of, you know, selling come in. And I'm not convinced that that's not going to happen today. And the reason why I say that is the dollar is strong. Um, the dollar is hold up, held up really well. The euro is actually weak, you know, but look at the dollar index, you know, where you are. We are pushing the 127% extension. Um, and and I think that the dollar is, you know, like I said, it's holding up very well. So if the dollar continues to hold up well, uh, equities might show some weakness by the end of the session um, as it's done the last couple of days. And if you remember the last, uh, last daily roundup, we talked about how the, you know, there was a risk of equities kind of changing their behavior. And, um, and, you know, we see a sell off at the end of the day. So here's the S and P, uh, let's talk about where the S and P has gone. It, it hit, um, the 3850 level, which, well, 38, I guess that's 3856. The low was, hold on, 3855. Our bias chart, thirty-eight fifty-five, and then we've bounced. I mean, we've almost bounced f- f- oh, almost forty points since then. So, really hit that support, and I'm assuming that we're going to see a little bit of resistance where we're currently at. If if you are if you're waiting to kind of short equities or you know short some risk, this might be the place to do it. Um, if that's what you're thinking, um, just because we're, we're back to the uh, top of the resistance zone, if you will. But that support held, um, we bounced and here we are. We're just kind of, you know, just kind of consolidating. Um, the Aussie, it bounced right off of neckline support. Amanda in the chat room, she nailed it. Uh, she, she got it right there at support. It, I think she picked it up at like 60 something. And, um, and that was really nice. Uh, she's, she's done a really good job with it. I I wouldn't be surprised if we, you know, continue to see a little bit of a bounce back to back above 76 cents. And we've been, you know, kind of battling these areas for a while, but I do eventually feel that the Aussie is going to break down. I'm not sure. And I'm not hundred percent convinced we're, we're done building out this right shoulder. You know, I, I pointed this out yesterday. Symmetry would have it where we, you know, we, we build around here for like the next week or two. I, I'm hoping that's not going to be the case because I want to see more volatility than just what we've seen. Um, and what would create that would be an Aussie breakdown. I just don't know if that's going to be the case as of now. Uh, Kiwi is trading really heavy. We have uh, We are trying to consolidate here, but we can't even get back above 70 cents. That's kind of crazy. We're just consolidating losses. And th- the thing about that is that's a risk that we will continue breaking down um, in the Kiwi dollar as soon as equities decide that they want to uh, stall. All right. Uh, volatility slumped. We, we, we rallied past resistance and then we, we just, you know, came right back down, but let's not ignore the fact that we're back above 20 and we're holding above 20. Yes. We've come down pretty aggressively in this four hour candle, you can see, you know, the last two hours we've given it back, but that doesn't mean that we're not building that base back above 20. And that's what I think we're doing. Cause you know, a lot of people were short volatility going into this week, thinking that uh, volatility is heading back down to the, the, the mid teens, you know, like the 12, 15 level, you know, and as we, we surge to all time highs and equities and we've just been building a base now. Uh, what else? Oh, oh, the, you know, talking about the Euro, let's, let's talk a little bit about it. The Euro is obviously very much underperforming right now. And frankly, I think the Euro is going to 116. I actually, it, and I know you guys have heard me say this and I'll say it again. Uh, what I think is going to happen is we're going to complete this bear flag pattern. 
it's going to slump through. See this trend line right here? It's going to slump through that horizontal support that comes in around 116. We're going to push right below that. Get everybody short below 116 and then turn. That's what I think is going to happen. Um, that doesn't mean it's going to happen today or tomorrow. I just think that overall, that's what's going to happen with the Euro. And um, I know some guys in the chat room, like uh, Benedict, he had a, let me, let me see if I can pull up his chart really quick. And, and, and I'm, I'm going to, I want to pull this up because I want you that are not in the chat room to kind of see what he's looking at. Um, Cause he looks at some of these harmonic patterns. He's looking at like a Gartley here. So we, we would, you know, find support at 117. Uh, I, I, I'm not going to be trading it long down there. I may be a, I, I may be in the wrong, but that's not what I'm going to do. That's I, I'd rather I'd rather see if we're going to complete the bull flag pattern. But um, that is uh, that's something I I thought I'd give you guys that are not in the chat room that are you know are on the light uh, forex analytics light version, um, just some flavor of that chart so you can kind of see what. Uh, one of the guys that's been in our room for forever is uh, is looking at. Um, you guys might have seen also. I have a um, I have a, a new pattern in play for the dollar Swiss. The dollar Swiss is breaking out. It is uh, and and kind of like the dollar yen. Now the dollar yen hasn't broken out yet, but this strength that you're seeing here, we can't ignore it. And you know the fact is, if we start breaking above ninety four cents, it's going to start surging even further. Um, I, I just I, I think that you got to keep an eye on 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 the dollar. I think the dollar just looks like it wants to explode. There's uh, the dollar Canadian is above the 26, 126 resistance. That's the 618 guys, and we're we're getting comfortable. That's the other thing too. If you're if you're trying if you're trading the dollar Canadian, you're like, well, we you know we're not we're not really rallying, but we we we're consolidating above a breakout point. And as I said earlier today, this morning on the face webinar, I'm like, man, you got to watch crude oil. Crude oil, it's, it was, I, I, and I don't trade crude. I, I don't. I'm, I am the worst tr crude trader, admittedly. You guys, some of you have heard me say that. I just, I can't trade it. I can call it though. And, um, you know, I said, hey, you know, trading above 60 bucks is a, is a, you know, gimme, was a gimme. And, um, you know, we, we've sold off and we're approaching that support uh, again. And with this move lower in crude, which I think crude's going to be trading back down towards 50, you know, it's currencies like the U.S. dollar, uh, U.S. dollar Canadian and the U.S. dollar Norwegian Krona that are at risk of breaking higher. You know, pepper in a little bit of, uh, pepper in a little bit of, um, uh, uh, uh you know, risk aversion, and you're gonna you're gonna see more of that. Last thing I should talk about, and then I'll, I'll take any questions that you guys have. Uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin's weak. Bitcoin below 50k. That's the 618. Let's think about like uh, there. Um, trying to think of what the pattern is maybe one of you guys can help me out really quick uh this this is what i'm thinking right now and you know don't kill me don't shoot the messenger here that's what i think is happening in bitcoin what is that I know I, I uh, cipher. Uh, somebody help me out. Uh, Rick said, "Blake, you are a crude trader, just not an oil version." <laughs> Irina, I think twenty thousand. Yeah, I think we're gonna stop shy of that. I, I really do. If you heard me on the on the morning or on the morning edge today, I, I mean, or on the face webinar, I just I think it's going to shake out everybody, and it's going to crush everyone. It's going to crush the institutions that tried to buy it. It's going to crush all the, you know, stimulus 
babies that have been buying it. It's going to crush all the millennials. It's going to crush all the, it's going to crush all the tic tackers, talkers. Um, you know, Irina and says, so I have to sell my exposure. I'm, I don't, I'm maybe wrong. I mean, I, you can't, I can't, I'm, that's a bold call, right? That's a, that is a, that is a, a really bold call. I think that's what's happening though. I think that's what's going to happen. So what I would do if I was long, like if I was long Bitcoin, you have to figure out at what point don't you want to own it? Like for me, I really hope we go to 20,000 because I'm going to buy it. But you have to think about where, where, where is it that you, where is it that you, 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 you can't, you just don't want to own it anymore. Like my opinion would have been at 55,000 or 52,000 that, that when we broke this trend line, that would have been my like oop, time to get out. I'll, I'll look to get it back, look to get back in at some other point. I, I'm going to hold on really quick. Give me a second. Just give me one second. Um, where am I? Uh, tweets, profile, tweets and replies. Man, this Euro pound, Jesus. The damn sterling is so strong, so irritating to me. All right, let's go back to what day, what day, what day, what? See, TikTokers like this need to go. This? Year 60K. So where do you think it's headed in the week ahead? I think we're going to hit it. It's going to be late tonight into tomorrow morning because by tomorrow afternoon, they're unfavorables. Sun, square Bitcoin, Pluto, moon opposing Bitcoin's Mars by tomorrow evening, Eastern time. Not the strongest day Sunday. Monday, not a huge day. Tuesday, the 23rd, transiting moon will oppose Bitcoin's natal Jupiter. Exact at 5 p.m. Eastern. It's moon, volatile, Jupiter. but overall favorable. Should pick back up Tuesday evening. Wednesday, the 24th gets kind of complicated. Moon crossing south node, 11 a.m. This looks unfavorable, like we might take a dip around 11 a.m. Eastern. 7 p.m., sun crosses Bitcoin's moon, favorable. Venus crosses Bitcoin's moon close into midnight. So by midnight on Wednesday, definitely looks more favorable. Thursday, 3 a.m., Mercury sextile Bitcoin sun, favorable. Sun Venus near Bitcoin's moon does still look really strong. A bit more difficult later at night when Sun Venus square Mars. Overall, Jupiter on Bitcoin's Neptune. It's like big institutional plays. Technicals out the window. Right now, Bitcoin is a really nice. Um, really? Well, really? Okay. So people like that, sorry, they need to go. They, they just have to go. They have to not be ever involved in the markets ever, ever, ever. So let me go back to my. Uh, March 12th. Okay. This is what you call transfer of wealth, right? Ooh, I got my stimulus check. Okay. I got, what is it? 2000, 2,500 bucks, what, whatever it is. I'm, I don't need it cause I got a job, but I hear this crypto crap is like the next best thing in the slice since sliced bread. I'm going to buy it. Oh my God, it's hitting 60 grand. I have to buy it now. I'm going to buy, I'm going to put my whole $2,000 into Bitcoin. There. And all the institutions are like, oh, thank you. Uh, thank you um, for for uh, U.S. government um, and taxpayers. Thanks for shelling out that uh, that two thousand dollars to that person and that person and that person who's buying crypto. Because I bought crypto at fifteen thousand, twenty thousand, and I'm going to sell it to them for at sixty thousand for three times or uh, you know uh, two two hundred percent profit. I mean, come on. And it's, it's that, that little, that little girl, that little girl that was just tweeting 
or TikToking, TikToking, she just lost all of her money. And so did how many, how many other people were listening to her? <laughs> Raj says, I think somebody wants uh, Dale should interview her. I, I don't even know who she is. I, I have no idea. D don't even really care. I mean, I don't, unfortunately, like I said, she shouldn't be in the markets. So, um, uh, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying that I really think people have fallen into the trap in Bitcoin. Look, my, my teenage kids, my teenage kids, 13 and 15, two weeks ago, I told you guys we were having dinner and they're like, I'm going to put all my money in uh, uh, Dogecoin because you never know. Dogecoin could be worth like a billion dollars by the time I'm, I'm an adult. I'm like, holy sh I'm like, all right, kids, let's have an opinion. Let's, let's, uh, let's talk about this a little bit, but that's, it's not just my kids. It's everybody. Anyway. All right, guys. Um, so do, do I think, I, do I really hope Bitcoin goes down there? Yes. Do I think we're going to get down there? I don't know. It's pretty, pretty, that's a pretty wild assumption, right? I mean, hell, but let's take this away. And let's go back to this. When Bitcoin was at uh, 14,000 and everybody's buying it, remember? Or, you know, when it was at uh, 20,000 before and everybody was buying it, remember? And it went from 20,000 to 5,000, then to 3,000, then to 2,000. I mean, is this possible again? On a, especially if, and, and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna leave you with one last thing, and then you know we shouldn't be talking about this anymore, really. Anyway, um, I'm a government, U.S. government, Turkish government, Argentinian government, whatever government, African government, and. People don't want my currency, but they want to buy this crypto Bitcoin thing. Do I see it as a risk if I'm a central bank or if I'm a government? Yeah. And if, 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 if people are dumping assets and buying this crypto stuff and then they're selling it and making a profit, do you think I don't want my piece? Look, you live in my country. You're going to pay me for that right? You live in my country. You're going to, you're going to pay me taxes on those gains. And then you can sit there as a citizen of whatever country you live in and say, well, that's a bunch of horse crap. I'm never, ever going to pay you. I'm going to just move. Are you really going to move? No, you're not. Are you going to pay your taxes? Eventually you probably will. Let's be real. I mean, some of you don't have kids and some of you don't have families and, you know, you might be, you know, just say, well, screw it. I'm moving to Costa Rica, you know, and, and, and it, that'll work for you. But, you know, chances are most of us, 90% of us, 95, 98% of us, we're not going anywhere. I can complain until I turn blue in the face and say, I'm not doing this and I'm not doing that, but I'm an American citizen. And as an American citizen, I'm going to owe. And I'm going to have to pay or I'm going to jail or I'll be in litigation with the IRS, right? It's going to happen. So, and I'm not going anywhere. I mean, I can, I can say I'm moving to Canada like every other American. I'm going to Canada. Screw it. I'm going to Canada. Okay. Okay. Sure you are. Sure you are. <laughs> anyway. All right, guys, I, I, I'll leave it. I'll leave it at that. I, and again, do I, do I think Bitcoin's going down here? I hope it does because I want to buy it. The 200 day moving average is not until, let's say, realistically, by the time it sells off, it won't be until we get to 30,000. Whoa. Okay. Um, boy, I talked way more about Bitcoin than I wanted to. I don't think we should publish this uh, video on YouTube. I'm going to have a lot of haters. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, 
give us a thumbs up or, you know, comment in the section below and give us your opinion of Bitcoin. I'd love to hear it. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Have a great one. And thank you all for your support. Always. Bye-bye.